20th consecutive year academic challenge. Brought to you by The Illuminating Company and by Ohio Edison. And now, ladies and gentlemen, here's Don Webster. Thank you very much, Paul King. Hi again, everybody. It's time now to play Academic Challenge, so let's get all three teams in action with our opening 60-second lightning round. Questions are all in the same category. For every correct answer, you will earn 10 points for your team. There are no penalties for incorrect replies. Today's category round is a list of topographical titles. Please fill in the blanks with a type of topographical feature that will complete each of the following book or song titles. Fingers on the buzzers. Here is number one. What are we looking for? Copley. Cliff. Yes. And for number two, Copley. Island. Island, all right. The third one now, I don't see any light on. All right, Edison. Archipelago. All right. Across the Copley. River. Mm-hmm. How green was my Copley? Valley. Valley. The lady of the Copley. Lake. On Golden. All right, Midpark. Pond. Pond. Right. Midnight at Midpark. Mm -hmm. At the Oasis. Oasis, okay. My side of the Midpark. Mountain. Mm-hmm. The Great Barrier Midpark. Reef. Okay. The Green Copley. Hills. Right. And my heart's in the Midpark. Orient. No. Nope. <laughs> you obviously are not Scottish. My heart's in the Highlands is what we wanted there. That's the end of the round. <laughs> appearing on tonight's show will each receive a swinger of birches a cloth bound volume combining the poems of robert frost with brilliant color illustrations by peter keppen published by stemmer house in addition each student will receive a photograph of their team as they appeared on the show and a special academic challenge t-shirt there's been another relax, and I'd like to remind our audience that the academic challenge is just a game of quick recall and not necessarily a true test of intelligence. All right, let's have a look now at uh, our team scores as we meet our individual players. Edison has 10 points to start, and here's their team. James Meacham, junior, a member of National Honor Society. John Oakley, senior, vice president of National Honor Society. Mike Sanderson, sophomore, National Honor Society. And alternates, Alan Stein, Je uh, Jennifer Patterson, and Darcy Hartman, and a third-year advisor and chairman of the Social Studies Department, William Muthing. Nice to see you back again. <laughs> now, with 30 points, the team from Mid Park. Dale Sandberg, junior, band treasurer. Chris Parker, senior, varsity basketball. Pat Ober, senior, National Honor Society. And alternates, Ray Gagliardi, Ed uh, Reinix and Bill Greenley, and an English teacher and 14-year advisor, Vicki Balzer. Nice to see you. Again. And with 60 points, a team from Copley. J.R. Lowry, senior, National Honor Society. Cindy DeBevick, senior, editor of your book. Maria Chan, senior, senior counsel. And alternates, Jeff Martin, Melissa Welch, and Sissy Coran, and a fifth-year advisor and teacher of English and Social Studies, Sue Carosa. Nice to see you. <laughs> and we'll be right back after a word from the energy mix. Your morning wakes up early. You're scrambling on the run. Since people here depend on you to help them get things done, you pull it all together, and you make their plans turn real. We're working hard to help you, cause we know how you as friends whose job never ends we're the people who get things done we're the energy makers 
OK, team members, listen closely now as Paul explains the rules for round number two. Teams have 75 seconds to answer 10 questions worth 10 points apiece. Answering all 10 correctly adds 50 bonus points. And it's time to get underway. Back to Chris Parker and the first pick. Chris? Number five, please. All right, five it is going to be. This is round number two. Going to Edison now with 10 points going in. When Senators Daniel Inouye and Spark Matsunaga return from Washington, D.C., they go to what state where their constituents greet them with aloha? Hawaii. Hawaii. Right? The United States recently issued its highest denomination postage stamp ever. Costing $9.35, it bears the likeness of what high-flying bird that is our national emblem? Eagle. Eagle. For a cold dessert, you might try an Eskimo pie, but for a hot desert, you could visit what sandy African region that's the world's largest? Sahara. 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 Right. Uh, now, check your monitor and tell me what is the value of A in the expression you see? 16. 18. We usually associate waterways with the Navy, but George McClellan's army in the Civil War had the name of what waterway that still flows near the Pentagon? Hudson River. No, the Potomac. The three little pigs were afraid of the big bad wolf, just as the monster Grendel should have been afraid of what other wolf who did him in. The, the wolf. That's right. Pumice, the light gray stone formed by lava, is most similar in mineral content to shale, granite, or gypsum. Granite. That's right. A swimming pool is 50 feet long and 20 feet wide. If the average depth is six feet, what is the volume of the pool in cubic feet? 6,000. That's right. Disliking the King James Version of the Bible, the pilgrims used what other translation named for the Swiss city in which John Calvin established his theocracy? Half. All right, that is Geneva, and that's the end of the round. 70 points now for Edison. We're rolling out of Cindy from Copley to pick the mid card. Cindy? Two, please. All right. Two it is now. And round number two. Mid Park has 30 points going into this round. And Mid Park, here's your second round getting underway. Virginia Dare was the first white child born in the English colonies, but Peregrine White was the only child born aboard what pilgrim ship bound for Massachusetts? All right. Black surveyor Benjamin Banneker failed to make money when he published for 10 years a series of what type of annual compendium also associated with poor rich Almanacs. People were turned to stone when they looked at the mythical Medusa, but they were turned to gold if they were touched by what fabled king? All right, check your monitor. What integer must be added to y squared plus 10y to make a perfect square? 25. That's it. Philip of Macedon won military fame for his development of the phalanx. Was this a portable bridge, a battle formation, or a type of arrow? Battle formation. Which of the following metals is always found in any amalgam? Tin, lead, or mercury? Tin. No, mercury. What tax was called as socialism, communism, devilism by Senator Sherman in 1896 and unconstitutional by the Supreme Court? Socialism. Uh, no, I was looking for income tax. That's what we call uh, needed. The perimeter of an isosceles triangle is 30. If the length of the base is one half the length of one of the sides, what is the length of the base? Five. Six. Although you'd be likely to take pots and pans from your kitchen cupboard, what seventh U.S. president took advice from his kitchen? Andrew Jackson. Jackson. All right. Longfellow's village blacksmith would have difficulty finding employment in what? We can take Smithy. it. Smithy. Uh, no, we wanted a deserted village, but no damage done, no penalty, and 90 points for Mid Park. Yeah. <laughs> and over to John, huh? Number one, please. Number one, did you say? All right. And our questions are coming to Copley. They have 60 points, and here's your second round. Carrie Nation was proud of what she called her hatchetations, wherein she took a hatchet to what type of business establishments? Right. The title character in James Fenimore Cooper's novel, The Pilot, was modeled after what naval hero who actually became admiral of a Russian fleet after his Bonhomme Richard triumph? John Paul Jones. That's right. Speak up now. Although they were men of different caliber, what same name was shared by our 21st president and the legendary English king whose sword was Excalibur? Arthur. Arthur. All right, on your monitor now. Of the three choices shown here, which one represents the greatest number, A, B, or C? C. C, C does. The words stoop and cruller may be heard in New York City, which is fitting since both words come from what lowlands country that first colonized New York is New Amsterdam. Holland. Holland. Right. In ancient history, Caesar crossed the Rubicon, but what was the river crossed by George Washington on Christmas, Christmas night the of Delaware. 1776, right? The surface temperature of the sun in degrees Fahrenheit is about 10,000 degrees, 50,000, or 100,000? 10,000. 10 is right. What is the reciprocal of negative two ninths? Negative nine over two. 
I have. No, I'm sorry, you were incorrect, and that was first. Joseph Conrad wrote about Lord Jim, but what William Golding novel is named for the Lord, Lord of an Lord of the Lord of the Pies is right, and that's the end of the round, and 140 points for the top. Yeah. We'll move on to our visual free-for-all right after we hear from our sponsors, Ohio Edison and the Illuminating Company. What if electricity came to your house in boxes? Electricity for your new TV, Mrs. Millman. About three hours worth for only a nickel. Thank you. Thank you. The energy makers will deliver whatever you need. Just tell us. Like when you turn on that light tonight. It means you're placing an order for about... 100 watts, and we'll make sure it's delivered like that. You see, every switch in this house is like a little order form for electricity. Your range, your dishwasher, the food processor. But you don't pay for it until after you use it. And you only pay for what you use. Hi, Mom. Aha, electric. About a penny's worth will do it. Electricity sure works hard, and we're working hard, too, to keep it reasonable. You decide how much to buy, then tell us. We deliver. The Energy Makers. All righty, before we continue, I would like to make a correction and give uh, Copley an extra 10 points because I uh, indicated that a math answer was incorrect, and uh, it was not. It was correct. My mistake. I apologize, and on we go. Before we begin round three, our visual free-for-all, here's Paul now with more rules. In the next 90 seconds, all three teams will compete simultaneously in a visual free-for-all. The first team ringing the bell when a question is asked will be recognized. The right answer gets your team 10 points, but we'll take away 10 for incorrect answers or failure to reply. Okay, Paul, thank you. Let's get to it now. Fingers on the buzzers, and uh, here we go with our first question. This is an early view of the University of Virginia, which was planned by Thomas Jefferson. The university is located in what city near Jefferson's estate, Monticello? All uh, right, Midpart? Richmond. Uh, I'm sorry. In what city is what I needed? Charlottesville. So that is to be incorrect. The board game is supposed to represent a moral journey through life to heaven. It is called Snakes and Ladders, and it's the national game of what island country located near the tip of India? Edison was first. Ceylon? Uh, yes, that is right. And here is a rock uh, crystal of titanite. It's a mineral name for the mythological race of titans uh, who attacked what rocky home of the Greek gods? All right, Edison? Olympus. Mm -hmm. What is the Moro Castle Fortress in San Juan, Puerto Rico? It's a city founded by what Spanish explorer who went to Florida in search of the Fountain of Youth? Who are we looking for, Edison? Ponce de Leon. Yes. This ugly tree, called the Zelkova, is native to what small Soviet region that shares its name with one of the United States? It was a birthplace of Joseph Stalin Copley. Georgia. Right. Here we see a Civil War picture of the Union fleet on its way to capturing what largest city of the Confederacy? A Louisiana port, uh, Midpart? New Orleans. Right. In 1860, the USA was visited for the first time by a member of the British royal family pictured here. He was what Prince of Wales, the son and eventual successor of Queen Victoria? All right, Edward VII. Next, we see the opening bars of what American folk song telling of the accidental drowning of a gold miner's daughter? Edison. Clementine. Right. This dramatic magazine illustration from 1910 depicts the assassination of King Carlos, the next to last monarch of what Iberian... All right, uh... No, I'm sorry, Copley was after the uh, buzzer. We were going to get around to Portugal, and that is the end of the round. <laughs> Coming up, a look at tonight's school, right after we hear from our sponsors, Ohio Edison and the Illuminating Campus. At the electric company, we know Dave Pallison as a senior machine operator, but on weekends and at night, He's Lieutenant Pallison, a firefighter with a volunteer fire department in his hometown. Dave teaches emergency rescue techniques that save precious minutes for victims trapped in fire or auto accidents. And that saves lives. The firefighter is also put in time every week at the station house helping keep equipment and trucks ready for action. Because when your neighbors need you, you have to be ready. Northampton Fire Department reporting a dwelling fire. 45, Dunn Lane. Engines 2 and ladder 1. Dave Pallison is the kind of person you can count on. We're proud he works for us. Think of us as friends whose job never ends. We're the people who get things done. We're the energy makers.
Edison High School is located in Milan Township, Erie County, about 60 miles west of Cleveland. The school serves the Berlin Milan School District, which includes Berlin Heights and Berlin Township. The school, of course, is named for the area's most famous son, Thomas Alva Edison. It offers a comprehensive educational program to nearly 600 students in grades 9 through 12 and is accredited by the North Central Association of Colleges and Schools. Edison also takes pride in a wide range of co-curricular activities. Students participate in such varied programs as the Ecology Club, Thespians, Future Farmers of America, Science Club, Youth in Government, and Interscholastic Sports. Mint Park High School, with approximately 600 students in grades 10 through 12, is one of two high schools in the Berea School District, which also serves Brook Park and Middleburg Heights. It offers a full range of college prep courses, including advanced placement in European history and calculus. Junior and senior students may also attend the Polaris Joint Vocational School. The art and industrial arts departments, in particular, have achieved national recognition. And the Mid Park Key Club was named number one in Ohio for its achievements last year. Located in Summit County, just west of Akron, Conley High School is a four-year comprehensive school offering a well-rounded program of academic and vocational instruction. It serves the communities of Fairlawn and Copley Township. The school has over 900 students and 54 faculty members. The present building was first occupied back in 1970. The high school features a computer room, full-size swimming pool, auto mechanics, an electronics lab, and an in-school restaurant. Over a third of Copley faculty members have a master's degree, and Copley students exceed the national norm in both SAT and ACT scores. While we're recapping team scores on your screen, here are the rules for this individual team round. Teams now get 20 points for every correct answer, but we'll take away 20 points for incorrect answers, and past questions will lose 10 points. With 90 seconds to answer 10 questions correctly, teams have a chance to pick up 50 bonus points. Okay, Paul, thank you very much. Let's go back now to Chris Parker and another pick. Number three, please. Okay, Chris. Three it is going to be, and our question's coming back to Edison. When he awoke, Rip Van Winkle was a free citizen of the United States, but he had fallen asleep while well, what British king ruled the colonies? This king later lost the colonies. George. Which one? Second. Third, I'm sorry. When a great deal of local prejudice surrounds a criminal trial, does a defense lawyer often ask a judge for the power of subpoena, a change of venue, or a bill of attainder? Change of venue. That's right. 56 signatures appear on the Declaration of Independence, the greatest number being those of men from what state where the Declaration was adopted? Virginia. Pennsylvania. Now listen to this. This, of course, is when Johnny comes marching home again, although some claim an Irish origin for the tune. All we know for sure is that it surfaced in 1863 in what New England city that calls itself the Cradle of Liberty? Philadelphia. Boston. Among American political slogans, President Teddy Roosevelt was associated with the notion that we should speak softly and carry what forceful Big implement. Stick. That's right. Wall Street brokers seldom smile at a stock market bear, but what backwoods hero of Tennessee supposedly grinned a bear into submission before he died defending the Alamo? Daniel Boone. Davy Crockett. A close relative of the dinosaurs is the lizard, elephant, or rhinoceros? Lizard. That's it. A rectangle has a perimeter of 50 feet, and one side is 15 feet. What is its area? 750. 150. Tender as a Night is the title of a novel by F. Scott Fitzgerald, but the phrase originally came from what famous ode by the poet John Keats? Half. All right. And Copley. Ode to a Nightingale? That's right. So you pick up an extra 20 points, and that's it for the round for Edison. <laughs> and we come back to team number three now, and Cindy, another uh, selection. Which one would you like? Six, please. Okay. And our question's back to Mid Park. Today, governments vie for a piece of the moon, but earlier, Germany's Kaiser Wilhelm sought a place in what other celestial body? Heaven. No, the sun. Because of his nationality, which of these heroes of folklore would probably have adored Swiss steak? Paul Bunyan, William Tell, or Mike Fink? William Tell. Right. Achilles may not have been well healed, but he was clearly rich in what quality, whose red badge is ironically described as Stephen Crane's courage. courage, right? Listen to this. I don't know if Zorb or the Greek ever danced to this music, but the tune does come from what largest Greek island in the Mediterranean. This island is the center of the ancient Minoan civilization. Which one? Crete. Crete. I'm hearing two. I want one. Crete. Crete is what? Right. A Greek vintner might put a uh, Dionysius label on his wine bottles, but an Italian would more likely use the name of what Roman wine god? Bacchus. That's it. 
Methane is used as a fuel. The what halogen derivative of methane, which has a strong sweet smell, is used as an anesthetic. Chloroform, methyl chloride, or chlorine? Chloroform? That's right. Spanish conquistadors met the Aztecs in Mexico, but they encountered what other Indian culture in Bolivia and Peru? Incas. Right. Find the number of degrees in an interior angle of a regular polygon of nine sides. 65. No, 40. Some reporters have a nose for news, but what title character in an Edmund Rostand play has a long nose that causes him heartache and his undeclared Cereal love for Roxanne? Virgin, right. Virgin. Tourists often visit the city of Tours, where what Frankish leader called the Hammer halted the Moors? Charles Martel. That's it, and that's the end of the round. Thank you. Okay, we'll come back now to team number one and John to pick four copies. Number four, please. Okay. All right, Copley, you're around. The tune, California, Here I Come, might have been sung by what adventures group of would-be miners were named for the year of the gold? The miners. Miners, right? Scientists call homo sapien, call man homo sapiens, not because he's a sap, but because the Latin word sapiens implies what bright condition Thinking. proverbially... Thinking. I'm sorry? Thinking. No, wise is what I needed. Healthy, wealthy, and wise. Knowing he had to save his own skin, Odysseus hid beneath the skin of what fleecy animal and his escape from the Cyclops Sheep. Polyphemus? Right. Listen to this. <laughs> This is going to be Home on the Range. This popular cowboy ballad is the official song of what state, now represented in the United States Senate by Robert Dole and Nancy Cassidy. And okay. The opera Faust and the musical Damn Yankees have little in common intellectually, but both deal with packs made with what prince of darkness? The devil. Right? The rate of change of momentum with respect to time is called acceleration, impact, or force. Acceleration. acceleration. Now I heard two. Acceleration. No, it's force. Ulysses S. Grant had several, several nicknames with the initials U.S. One of these was also a phrase describing what kind of surrender that has no strings attached. Unconditional. Right? Find the area of a right triangle whose legs are 12 and 7. 13. 42. If Jack wanted to jump over the bishop's candlesticks, he would find them playing an important part of Les Miserables by what French author? Hugo. Right? After the Panic of 1893, what wealthy Ohio quarry owner led a large army of unemployed to Washington to drum up business by... Taxi. That is it, and that is the end of the round. 230 points for Copley now, after that round. Oh, one past question, I'm sorry. Midpart? Kansas, right, so you pick up... <laughs> Kansas. We have a good game going, a tie so far between Copley and Midpart. We'll go on to our grab bag after this message from the Energy Makers. How much it costs in electricity to operate your home it may cost less than you think for example if everything that's going on in this room right now kept on going for an hour the electricity would still cost less than 20 cents how do you figure it all out for your home get the booklet with all the answers the electric decision maker it's filled with useful facts and tips on getting the most out of your energy dollar for your free copy, just write or call your electric company. Thank you. We're the energy makers. Our job never ends. This is the grab bag. For every correct answer, we will add 20 points. This will fail to answer. We take away 20 points going into the grab bag. This is how we stand now. We're in third place. We have Edison. And now we have a tie. Mid Park is 230 points. And Copley, also 230 points. So the grab bag will determine our winner this evening. Let's put the points on the scoreboard now for 20 points apiece. And here we go. Mariners usually sail on seawater. But in what sport do San Diego Mariners ply their trade on frozen water Mid Park? Chargers. Hockey is what I need. If he went hunting whales instead of grails, Sir Lancelot might exchange his lance for what sort of barbed spear used by Captain Harpoon. Ahab? Harpoon. No, please don't do that. I'm going to call the name of the school and answer. Mid Park? Harpoon. Okay. Canada may not have a national pet, but its prime minister does have what name whose initials spell out the word pet? Edison. Pierre Trudeau. Trudeau. All right, Pierre Elliott Trudeau. A cube, of course, has six sides, but a pyramid whose base is a square has how many faces? Copley. Five. Five. 
Baseball diamonds are measured in feet, but in what other units are the diamonds on a person's fingers measured? Edison. Carrot. Right. A scheme that recoils upon its originator is often given the name of what curved wooden missile that is unlosable when properly thrown coupling. A boomerang. Right. The Earth revolves around the sun at a speed of about 3,366,000 or 500,000 miles per hour. Edison. 66,000. That's it. At a mythological tea party, a goddess might have served ambrosia and what drink of the gods? Copley. Nectar. Yes. The phrase, man doth not live by bread alone, is found in the Bible in what last of the five books of Moses? Midpart. Exodus. Deuteronomy. What is the number of all possible diagonals in a pentagon? No takers? Four, five. The first black man to graduate from an American college attended Baudouin College in what pine tree state admitted to the Union as a free state Edison? Vermont. Maine. The Greek word for wanderers gives us what general name for... All right, Edison? Planets. Planets, Planets is right. What natural phenomenon guarded by the Greek god Aeolus is nonetheless gone in the title of Margaret Mitchell's well-known novel, wind, Kaplan? Wind. wind. What high country of Central Asia formerly ruled by the Dalai Lama, Edison? Tibet. Yep. Crazy Horse and Sitting Bull were named for animals, but were often opposed on the Western Plains by what whole tribe with the name of a cawing black bird? Copley? Crows. Crow. The names patrons of husbandry and the Grange were used interchangeably in the early 1870s for an organization made up of what sort of American workers? Copley. Farmers. Farmers. Though he was a Swedish industrialist, Ivor Kruger could claim what same title given an arranger of marriages in a play by Thornton Wilder? Copley? Matchmaker. Right. I'm not a Virginian, but an American, said what colonial patriot who... Patrick Midpart. Henry. Patrick Henry. A cube measures two feet on a side. If a tube of paint covers eight square feet, how many tubes are needed to paint this cube? Midpart. Three. Three is correct. Who was the first president of the Republic of Texas? A man later removed... All right, Midpart. Sam Houston. Right. At a political convention, Alabama is called first alphabetically, but delegates from what western state have to wait until last? Edison? Wyoming. Uh, Wyoming is correct. There are many sports teams with animals. All right, there we have our final buzzer. And here we have our final scores. In first place is Edison uh, with 160 points, followed by Midpart with 270. And our winner, Copley, with 370 points. Congratulations. You really did well at the end. Yeah. Be with us again next week when Academic Challenge will uh, bring your students from Farmington, uh, West Farmington, from Brexville, of Broadview Heights, and Euclid High School. This is Don Webster. Have a good week. We'll see you next week at the same time. Academic Challenge has been brought to you by Ohio Edison and by The Illuminating Company. Book prizes for Academic Challenge are provided by Stemmer House Publishers. Webster. And I'm Wilma Smith. You 